recorded more than 10 things written in that book, right? right? So therefore, we have to diligently read the Bible and get the commandments. And read that Blessed are they that do his commandments. Blessed are yet blessed are they that do his commandments. So you're blessed if you do the commandments, right? So let's see some of the commandments that we have to keep being what? What's your nationality? Hey, Nigerian. No. Our nationality are Hebrew Israelites. Hebrew Israelites. Alright, let's see some of the commandments that we have to keep being what? Hebrew Israelites. Hebrew is offering to the Lord. Bring it up, man. Con, Leviticus 11 and 7. Bring it out. And, it's, and the swine. Con, and the swine. So what animal is just, just like, it's like a swine, King? What animal is the swine? Pork. Pork. Read. Though he divide the hoof and be cloven footed, yet he chew it not to cut. He is unclean to you. He is what? He, he is, is unclean, unclean to you. So according to the Bible, according to the commandments that Jesus Christ said that we have to keep to go have eternal life, pig, swine, pork is unclean to us. In the Christian church, they teach that we can eat pork. Right? They teach, and you, they really teach you can do whatever you really want to do for real. Right? We ate pork. It's, it's just inside of the Christian church. Right? But God com commands us not to eat pork. Right? Read. Get of their flesh shall ye not eat, and their carcass shall ye not touch. God, so God said don't even touch their carcass. Right? Read. They are clean to you. They are what? They, they are, are clean, clean to you. So pig, pork, bacon, pork chops, ham sandwiches, all of that is, is according to the Bible, according to God, it is unclean to us. Right? And we literally read in the last chapter of the Bible, Revelation chapter, uh, Revelation chapter 22, that if you want to be blessed, you got to keep the commandments, right? Uh, chapter 12. Mark, Mark. Mark 5 and 12. Uh, this is the book of Mark, chapter 5. And verse 12. Go. Go. And all the e the devils besought him, saying, Send us into the swine. Send us where? Into the swine. Send us where? Into, into the, the swine. swine. So you have these demons, these devils, they like to go into pigs. So what do you think happens if <laughs> demons like to go into pig? What do you think will happen when you eat that pig? It goes into us. That's right. Right. Read. That we may enter into them. And forthwith, Yahweh shall get them leave. And the unclean spirit went out and entered into the swine. Huh, so you have unclean spirits that like to go into certain animals, right? Because what type of food do pigs eat? Anything and everything. Back in the day, they used to feed people, they used to feed pigs people. If they want to get rid of you, they put you in the pig pan, and all they got left is your teeth. That's it. That's the only part of your body that the pig cannot digest. He'll literally eat everything except for the teeth, right? Of course, who else can eat? We shouldn't be developing our temples by putting that within our body. Right? Let's see what else we can eat. Right? Verse the 9. These shall you eat. But of these shall you eat of all that are in the water. Okay, so now it's going to lay out all the things we can eat that is in the water. Okay, read. Whatsoever have fins and scales. Have what? Fins and scales. Have what? Have fins and scales. Have fins and scales. So what things do not have fins and scales, King? In the water that do not have fins and scales. Shrimp don't? I'm vegetarian. Oh, all praises, all praises, all praises. You have shrimp don't, we can't eat shrimp. We can't eat anything that doesn't come that have fins and scales, right? Give me Leviticus chapter uh, 21 and 5. Right? Let's eat vegetarian, all, right? all praises. All right? Give me Numbers chapter 15 and 38 below. Leviticus chapter 21 verse 5. Here we go. They shall not make baldness upon their head. So according to the Bible, we cannot make baldness upon our head. We cannot shave our head. My Christian church pastor, he shaved his head. He was bald head and bald face. According to the Bible, he, he is in sin. Right, read. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. So we cannot shave off the corner of our beard. Right, I'm still a young man. Monster coming in, right? But let you see the mighty elders through the spirit, they're not gonna save off their beard, right? So that's one of the commandments that we have to keep. Being Hebrew Israelites, is yes, we have to keep our beard on, right? Because what's the difference between a, a male lion and a female lion? 
Man. What's the difference between a male lion? Exactly. And that brother right there, he got the mighty beard, man. Right. All praises, man. Because that's a that's the difference between a male lion and a female lion. And it's that male lion has that mane. Right. Bring that out, King. Oh, it's the book of Numbers, chapter 15, and verse 38. Bring it out. Spake unto the children of Israel, Read and bet them that they make them fringes in the border of their garments. Huh, so God commands us to wear fringes. All the little brothers are wearing fringes. I got the gold, the brother got the white, the brother got the styling with the purple <laughs> on. The kind of styling with the purple on. Brother got the white, right? So God commands us to wear fringes, right? Read. Huh. Throughout their generation. Forever. Right? We we'll always have to be in fringes, right? Read. And that they put upon the fringes of the border a ribbon of blue. A, since they what? And they put upon the fringes of the border a ribbon of blue. A ribbon of blue. Right, so that's why you see I got the ribbon of blue on. All of the brothers have a ribbon of blue on on top of their fringes because we're the Hebrew Israelites. Right. Break that, King. Uh, and it shall be unto you for a fringe that ye may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord Con. and do them. Con. So those are just two quick commandments through the Spirit that and we must keep. Those are things that we do not learn within the Christian church, but that God commands us to keep. All right, give me first Timothy 6 verse 14. Give me first Timothy 6 verse 14. All right. These, co these commandments endure forever. Right. First Timothy 6 and 14. Whoever got it. See if you can get it, John. This is the book of 1 Timothy 6. six. I got it. 1 Timothy 6, verse 14. You say uh, 6? 14. 14. No. That thou keep the commandments. That thou do what? That thou no, keep, keep the, the commandments. commandments. God, so we have to keep the commandments. Right? Read without spot. Unrebukable until the appearance of our Lord Jesus Christ. I to what? Until the appearance of our Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. We have to have these fringes until Christ comes back. We have to grow out our beard until Christ comes back. Brother said he's vegetarian. All praise to the most high. We have to not eat pork, put down the pork, put down the crab, put down the lobster until Christ comes back. Right. Does that make sense, King? Yeah. So that's that's some of the differences between the Christian church and the Bible. This isn't a Christian church versus Hebrew Israelite thing. All right, give me Revelation 1 verse 3. Give me Isaiah chapter 34 and 16. Uh, Revelation chapter 1 verse 3. Get up. Blessed is he that read it. Blessed is he that what? Blessed is he that read it. Blessed is he that what? Blessed is he that read it. Blessed is he that read it. Right, so we have to read this Bible. Right, in Christian church, we weren't reading the Bible. Excuse me, King. You got one minute for God, brother. One minute for the Bible. All right, say it again. All right, well, brother, you're a Hebrew Israelite, like King. Right. What's your nationality, King? Black. Is that a, a nationality? What nation is black? What, what what language do black people speak? Say it again. All praise to the Most High. Right. So, according to the Bible, so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and they have Americans. We're God's chosen people. That's right. Being the Hebrew Israelites. That's right. Have, have you ever heard of the Israelites, King? All praise to the Most High. We're going to read about some things that happened to the Israelites. All right? Give me Leviticus 26 and 14. You want to uh, uh, get Leviticus 27 and 37 as well. Leviticus chapter 26, verse 14. Bring it out. But if ye would not hearken unto me. So God said if the Israelites, so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and if we do not listen to him, right, read. And will not do all these commandments. And if ye shall despise my statutes, or if ye, if, so lucky. or if your soul abhor my judgment. Con. So if the black people don't do what God says, read. So that ye will not do all my commandments, Con. but that ye break my covenant. Con. Read verse 17, King. Con. Leviticus 26 and 17. So, read it out. So we're going to see what God is going to do to us if we do, do if we do not listen to what he said. Alright, as a whole, do you think our people are blessed or do you think our people are cursed? As a whole. Blessed? We went through slavery, King. As, as a whole, it's a mystery. What if people went on slavery by slave ships? Give me two Romans. 
Deuteronomy 28, verse 68. Read out. So this is a curse that it, that fell upon the Israelites. So right. bring that out, Ken. And the Lord shall bring thee into each again. Can you just hand him a flyer, King? All right, dude. All praises. Well, bro bro brother, you're a Hebrew Israelite. Just another brother. There you go, people. <clears throat> oh, hey, uh, brothers, brothers, brothers. Right. We're going to be right back. Right. 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 Excuse me, family. Brother in the blacks. This is the book of Isaiah. From the top. 34 from the top. Come near, ye nations, to hear and hearken, ye people. Council, God wants the nations to come here and to hearken. Like, read. Let the earth hear and all that is therein. Con? The world and all things that come forth of it. For the What's up, brother? What's your biblical nationality, King? What, nation, what nation do you come from, brother? Huh? Okay. All right. Kimmy, uh, Kimmy, Polo, Polo, Zan, Right. So what we're out here to do is just as a teach King, the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Arab Americans, we're God's chosen people. That's right. We're the Hebrew Israelites. Right, that's our nationality. Bring it up. Hosea chapter 4, verse 6. Bring it up. My people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. My what? My, My people, people are destroyed, destroyed for the lack of knowledge. So God said his chosen people are just basically destroyed for a lack of knowledge, right? If I ask a Chinese man, what nation does he come from? Is he going to be able to tell me? Because he comes from where? Where do the Chinese people come from? China. Now, if I ask you where you come from, we, we don't really know, right? Start from the top. My people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Okay, so God said his chosen people are basically destroyed just like for a lack of knowledge, right? We don't know our nationality, right? Bring it up, King. It's Jeremiah chapter 17 and verse 4. And thou, even thyself, Shall discontinue from thy heritage. So God said that his people will discontinue from our heritage. Right? What people discontinue from our heritage, King? We don't know who we are. We don't know if we come from Africa. We don't know if we come from America. How can we get over here, King? By what means of transportation? Give me Deuteronomy 28 and 15. How do we get to uh, America, King? How did your ancestors come to uh, America? A ship. That's right. Uh, we are Deuteronomy 20 and 15. That's actually a curse that happened upon the Israelites. Right? God said that will happen to the Israelites. Right? Start at verse 15. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and 15. It no. But it shall come to pass if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. God. So God said if the Israelites do not listen to what he says, right? Read. To observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day, God, that all these curses, that, that all these what? All, all these, these curses, curses. That all these what? All, all these, these curses. curses. All these curses. Right, so God said all of these curses will happen to the Israelites if they do not do what he said, right? Let's read one of the curses that God said will happen to, to the Israelites, right? Grab verse 68, King. Uh, verse 68. Bring it out. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Into where? Into, into Egypt, Egypt again. again. Into Egypt. What were the Israelites doing in Egypt, King? Egypt. Have you ever heard of Moses? Moses was saying, let my people go, right? He was telling Pharaoh, let my people go. Why do you think he was telling Pharaoh to go, let my people go? All right. We're going to read it, King. It's Exodus chapter 20 and verse 2. Bring it uh -huh. out. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, God. Oh. out of the oh. house of bondage. Oh. So the word Egypt means slavery, right? Because right? the Israelites were slaves in Egypt. That's right. Right? That's so God is saying he's going to put us back into Egypt, a.k.a. back into slavery. Does that make sense, King? Okay, God said, so the Israelites were slaves in Egypt. We were slaves.